wonderful son, Victor. You are the handsomest, kindest, cleverest, most wonderfulest boy in the whole world. Come on. Woo! <laughs> Madam, you will spoil the boy, really. <laughs> Would you and your daughter leave us, please, Mrs. Morris? Doctor? Come along, Justin. Victor, this is Elizabeth. She's coming to live with us. She's lost both her mother and father to the scarlet fever, Victor. She's an orphan now. You must think of her as your own sister. You must look after her and be kind to her. Always. Mother, oh, how is the imminent arrival? Oh, a little frisky today. Uh. When you were a little boy, you used to chase fireflies in the field. Yes, and when I trapped them in my jar, they died. <laughs> yes, and do you remember how you cried? Yes. Because you wanted to keep them glowing by your bedside to light you as you read. You were so hungry for knowledge. Such a serious little boy. You've become such an earnest young man. All these strange and ancient books. You'll be an even greater doctor than your father. But you know, Victor, life shouldn't be all study. There's such fun to be had. Oh, well. Give me that back. No. Give me <laughs> that back, mother! Everything I could. Everything I could.
should never have died. No one need ever die. I will stop this. I will stop this. I promise. Victor, you're completely obsessed. <laughs>